Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on completing the square. In this video, we're going to look at how to complete the square for expressions that have got an x squared term such as 2x squared or 3x squared or 4x squared rather than just an x squared. So our first question says write 2x squared minus 8x plus 15 in the form a open brackets x plus b close bracket squared plus c. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this expression, this 2x squared minus 8x plus 15. And because it's got a 2 at the front, we're going to actually sort of take that 2 out. We're going to factorise by taking that 2 out. So let's do that. So let's take the 2 out. So we're going to do 2. Now when I do this, I tend to use square brackets. So open up my square brackets and then just take the 2 out. So it's going to be x squared, dividing all these by 2, subtract 4x. And then plus, I notice 15 is not a multiple of 2, so I'm just going to write 15 over 2. Because if I was to expand that again, 15 over 2 times 2 would be 15. Okay, so I've just taken the 2 out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of really forget about this 2. And I'm going to do completing the square on this expression inside of the square brackets. So just like my simple completing the square, if there's such a thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 2, open square brackets. And then we're going to focus in on just this and do completing the square. So remember, if you need a recap of completing the square, go back to Corbett Maths and watch that video now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do open brackets. I'm going to write my x, subtract. And remember, it's half of this. This term so half of minus 4 would be minus 2 close bracket squared and then it's whatever this is squared taken away so because it's minus 2 or 2 squared is 4 so we're gonna write minus 4 and then we had our plus 15 over 2 so write plus 15 over 2 and then our squared brackets okay so we've half the term in front of our x we've put it in the brackets we've squared it and we've put our you know, take away. So we've taken that away. And then we've just written the number bit on the end. I remember the whole thing's in square brackets because we've got our two out the front. Now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify these two numbers here. So we're going to write two square brackets, x subtract two, close bracket squared. Now because this is 15 halves, I'm going to write my four and halves as well. Four is eight halves. So I'm going to write subtract eight halves plus 15 halves square brackets. So that's 2 and then x minus 2 squared. Now we've got minus 8 halves plus 15 halves. Well, minus 8 halves plus 15 halves. Well, minus 8 plus 15 is 7. So it's going to be plus 7 halves. Now we want it in the form a open brackets x plus b close bracket squared plus c. Notice there's just a number in front of the um, brackets here. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand out the square brackets. So we're going to multiply both these terms by 2. So we're going to do 2 times this. So that's going to give us 2x minus 2 squared. And then plus, and we're going to do 7 over 2, 7 halves times by 2. Well, 7 halves times by 2 would just be 7. So that's going to be plus 7. So our answer is 2 open brackets x minus 2 squared plus 7. Okay, our next example. Our next example says write 3x squared plus 9x plus 5 in the form a open brackets x plus b close bracket squared plus c. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 3 out. We're going to factorize and take 3, do our squared brackets and divide all these terms by 3. So it's going to give us x squared plus 3x and then 5 divided by 3 would be 5 thirds. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do completing the square. Um, on whatever expression is inside the square brackets. So it's going to give us 3. Now remember we do our open brackets x. We half this coefficient in front of the x of so 3. So it's going to be plus 3 over 2. Close bracket squared. We then take away whatever this is squared. Now it's a fraction. So 3 over 2 squared is going to be 9 over 4. You just square the numerator and square the denominator. But remember it's always subtract. So subtract 9 over 4. And then plus our number on the end, so plus 5 over 3 square brackets. Okay, so we're, we're nearly there. We have got our 3, we've got our square brackets, and then we've got our completing the square. Now what we're going to do is simplify these. Now, unfortunately, these have got different denominators, so we're going to need to work that out. 4 and 3, so let's get them as 12s. So if we had 9 as 12s, that would be x plus 3 over 2 squared. We want these both to be 12. So what we're going to do is times both the numerator and denominator here by 3. So that would give us 27 12. And we're going to times both the numerator and denominator here by 4. So that would be 20 12 square brackets. 
and then we have got minus 27 twelfths plus 20 twelfths. That's going to be minus 7 twelfths. Now, obviously in the question, we have got the uh, right beside the brackets. So I'm going to multiply these brackets here, these square brackets. So 3 times this would be 3 bracket x plus 3 over 2 squared. And then we're going to times this by 3. So that would be equal to subtract. And if we just times the numerator by 3, that's going to give us 21 over 12. Now, 21 over 12 can be simplified. Um, that would give us... Whenever we do that, so we can divide both of them by 3, and that would give us 7 over 4. And that's it. So our answer, um, obviously A, B, and C don't necessarily need to be integers. They can be fractions. So our answer is 3, open brackets, x plus 3 over 2 squared minus 7 over 4. Okay, and our last question. Our last question says, write 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 in the form a open brackets x plus b close bracket squared plus c so again we're going to take the two out here because it's 2x squared so 2 open up the square brackets and then that would give us whenever we do that x squared plus and dividing these by 2 will give us 3 over 2 x minus 7 over 2 and then remember we're going to now do completing the square and what's inside the square brackets so that's going to give us when we do that x plus and then half of this um, coefficient of x. So that would just be 3 quarters. Whenever you want a half a fraction, you can just double the denominator. So that's going to be 3 over 4 squared. Now we always subtract this squared. So 3 over 4 squared would be 9 over 16. And then subtract our 7 over 2 and square brackets. Okay, so we have done completing the square and what's in the middle or inside these square brackets. Now what we need to do is simplify these numbers on the end here. So it's going to be 2 square brackets, x plus 3 over 4 squared. Now we have got a denominator here of 16 and a denominator here of 2. So we're going to times both of these by 8. So it's going to give us 9 over 16. Subtract multiplying both of these by 8 will give us... 56 over 16 quite nice fractions here <laughs> over our close brackets now if you've got minus 9 minus another 56 that's going to be minus 65 so that's going to be 2 and then square brackets x plus 3 over 4 squared and then minus 65 over 16 square brackets and then again we just want to multiply out this by 2 so that's going to give us when we do that 2x plus 3 over 4 squared and again if we times a fraction by 2 I could double this uh, numerator and then cancel it down or you could just half the denominator so whenever I times this fraction by 2 I could write 130 over 16 and then half them both to get that's equal to 65 over 8 or I could just double this denominator, or sorry, half this denominator. So it's going to give us 65 over 8. And that's it. Just checking to see if these this can be simplified. Uh, the only factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Um, and 65 doesn't have any of those factors, so that's it. Um, so we have written 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 in the form of a open brackets x plus b close bracket squared plus c. And that's it. So if you want to do completing the square on an expression which isn't just x squared, factorize by taking out that number in front of the x squared first of all, then do completing the square, and then at the end just multiply back by that, or multiply the, the answer to the completing the square by the number that you've taken out. That's it.